I was at Eastwood uh, Community um, Club last week and it was the same thing. There were like four or five hundred Forest fans there and we, we told some old stories and had some fun. Um, and it's great to be remembered. Of course, the club had the 150th um, anniversary last year. You know, one of England's oldest clubs as well, we, f we forget. Um, and to be voted into sort of greatest ever 11 was without a doubt the highlight of my career because if you look at the players, John McGovern and Roy Keane and Stuart Pearce and Martin O'Neill and players like Viv Anderson, Peter Shilton uh, in that, it kind of like it, it just means that fans didn't forget. It was two fantastic years. I think that it's two years I'll never forget. I think that the football as well that we played was exciting, uh, which is the icing on the cake. You know, fans want success and they want to win but they want to win with a, a swagger and that's what we did so um, the fact that so many fans in this area remember that and, uh, and enjoy me popping along to have a chat is very humbling. So very finally, um, at the moment we have um, at Newark Town one of your former um, teammates, Julian Joachim up front. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you'd ever want to have a go back? I don't think I maybe 10 years ago, but <laughs> uh, I would have had to think about it. But uh, Jockey, I think, is a good seven or eight years younger than me. So uh, I think he's probably still got a bit of pace to burn as well. But um, it's great to see, of course, we forget that we talk about league football and league clubs. Um, and I've just been to St George's Park talking to, to, to Gareth Southgate, to uh, Paul Davis, of Ar who used to be at Arsenal, uh, Chris Morris, Celtic in the Republic of Ireland, that these guys are still involved in the game. So for, for Julian, I don't think it's just a, a case of uh, delaying hanging up his boots. I think he wants to be actively involved in the, in the football community.